Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Person Euphoria. Uh, are you ready to move for today's plank story? Maybe just even round forward and take a few deep breaths or round and bend back or a side bend or some twists, just move the spine. All right, let's get the clock started. Here we go. So back in 2007, Matt and I went to do a week in Ireland and a week in Scotland. Uh, and it was a great trip. However, we were extremely directionally challenged in Ireland. And part of the problem was is we hadn't opted for the GPS that came with the rental car. And so the maps indicated directions and streets by numbers. But when you were on the actual streets or on a highway and you needed to exit, the signs were all by names. And it would first be like a Celtic name and then an English name. And so you'd be looking through for like which name you were looking for, but it was a little bit irrelevant because it didn't match the map, which had a number. Meanwhile, the people in Ireland didn't seem to use names or numbers. They seemed to really use landmarks. But sometimes those landmarks were like old. So in one example, someone had told us to take a right into the bed and breakfast where there was a red sign. We're driving back and forth. We can't find it. We had to stop and get a pay phone and call the, the bed and breakfast. And the place was like, oh, that sign fell down years ago. So the, the landmarks were not always still there. And then at one point we got lost and we're at a gas station and I go in and the guys at the gas station, they didn't just give me like clear directions. They like kind of drew out a map and pictures. Basically it was like, take a right at the castle, take a left at the ocean. And then when you hit the roundabout, take the second exit. So we follow those directions, but we're a little confused because again, there's no obvious castle. I don't, I didn't see the ocean. We take, but we get to a roundabout and we take the second exit and we wind up back at the gas station. Like, all right, clearly we did something wrong. But I go in to ask and I say, you know, the castle, is that, are we doing the right thing? Like, there's just a rock wall. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what's left of the castle. <laughs> all right. And I say, and the ocean? Like, what's, I, I don't see the ocean. And he's like, hun, it's an island. There, there's the, you're, the ocean's always right there. We're sorry for my terrible Irish accent, by the way. But the ocean's always right there. We're an island. And I go, oh, I, I don't think that's true, but okay. So when we hit this body of water, it's the ocean. So we get back in the car and we try again with the confidence that the stone wall is the castle, the river is the ocean. We wind up back at the gas station. But this time we took our time through the roundabout and we realized there were five exits, not like the traditional four. So I say, are we messing this up in the roundabout? Uh, because there's five exits. And he's like, oh, you don't take the first exit. The first exit's just a service road. So take the second exit, but don't count the first. <laughs> Which was also not clear because now do I... How do I don't count the first and then I take one, two. So basically going straight through the roundabout. And anyway, I don't remember exactly what we did, but basically we we picked a different exit off the roundabout. We didn't wind up back at the gas station. I don't remember it, but I speculate we got lost two more times before finding our destination. And that was just our experience through all of Ireland. But Ireland was gorgeous. It had more tints of green than you could possibly imagine and then on sunny days when the like sun broke through the clouds it just looked like there was clearly heaven above right it was very magical so that's my story directionally challenged oh and then when we flew to scotland we paid extra for gps with our car that was a three minute and 30 second plank i hope you have a wonderful day and keep moving i see my nana is watching so hello nana Talk to you later. Bye-bye.